la tatu hapa Bungoma and I, I, tell, I told uh, the bishops when they came to request me to come here today that ukiangalia what we have done as a government from the 8th of August 2022 I mean 20, 2017 I think we have done what we can ukiangalia all sectors mambo ya barabara we have opened up Bungoma leo nimekuwa mechimeru ukitoka town kwenda mechimeru now it takes you about 5 minutes 10 minutes you are in mechimeru we have opened up the entire county ukiangalia maneno ya health we have renovated our dispensaries we have built new dispensaries we are building a 300 bed hospital tunamaliza we are doing another one in Sirisia tuko very karibuni we are launching one in 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 Kandui we will be doing one in Tongaren so we have tried to ensure that all sectors in this county zimefanya na zinaendelea kufanya vizuri education we started the Wangamati scholarship program that has progressed hello the Wangamati scholarship program that we started in 2018 and that is because of my passion for education in 2018 say easy we have about 3000 4000 students on the Wangamati scholarship program and I can tell you without any fear of contradiction our scholarship program as we speak now is the best in the country second to equity bank scholarship program when I was doing the launch of the last cohort in 2021 the CEO of equity bank akakuja na akakuwa the guest of one what Mwangi told me and today the other day I was in Kibabi with the first cohort of the scholarship program about 500 kids when you wanaenda kufanya mutiani ya kwanza kwa sababu those are the first Mwangi told me that he is so impressed that he wants to integrate the equity bank leadership program with the Wangamati scholarship program in Bungoma na tukasikizana na yeye kwa watoto what when you atapata a kwa hii wenye wanaenda kufanya mtihani match wenye wako kwa Wangamati scholarship program those kids will transit straight away to the equity bank leadership program na watoto wakimaliza hivyo hakina wanaanza kupata shilingi immediately after fourth form they start earning 40000 shillings per month hello that scholarship program watu wanaichukulia but in 10 years time that's what tomboya did in luoland that is what tomboya did in luo nyanza where he started exporting people to the uk to the us hiyo wakati ndio obama babake akaenda us if it was not tomboya and that scholarship program obama would not have been the president of the united states of america hawa watoto wenye tunaweka kwa program sasa hizi the other day nilikuwa webuye when I was reading the comrades kijana moja msichana moja hapo anafanya kwa ba hapo kwa sango hapo mtoto wake alipita yuko scholarship program yuko Moi Girls High School huyo mtoto akipita aende akirudi he will, she will change the life wa huyo mama mwenye afanya kwa ba hapo sango so we have done what we think we should have done tuna mahali popote pe ibe tumekosea hapa na pale but by large we have done now i've been telling people and i've told people to cure namamuka and i even told the bishops when we met given an opportunity to come back on the 9th of august 2022 my focus will be addressing the fundamental problem that we have in this country that is across the country but more so in this county dealing with the problem of unemployment Unemployment is a serious serious issue. Hata watoto wenye tunapeleka university lazima warudi wakimaliza we must get employment for them. Now what I'm saying is that in the next dispensation of my leadership given an opportunity 
from 9th of August 2022. I'll want to focus on creating a manufacturing sector in this great county of Bungom. Tumefungua mabarabara, tumetegeneza, we have invested in agriculture, tutaendelea kufanya hivu. But the next phase is focusing on creating an employment. And you cannot create employment without enhancing the manufacturing sector in this county. We must create an industrial park, create small industries so that they can we can have an opportunity to create employment for our youths, for our graduates, for our girls and daughters who are here, who are coming out of the universities. That is my manifesto. That is my focus for the next five years. Bwana Yesu wa Sifiga. Hello. Nimeanza kwa bo. Hello. Bwana Yesu wa Sifiga. So that is what we'll be doing. That will be our focus. Na mimi nataka nitoke hapa na kuuliza kila mtu mwenye yuko hapa. Because all of us, like I told the bishops, we are opening up Bungoma town. That duo you know what walikuwa wanapiga kelele by end of next week the first lane itakuwa imefika Kandui. You know what walikuwa wanapiga kelele unafikiria hiyo barabara iko mbaya. End of next week hiyo barabara itakuwa imefika Kandui the first lane. Sasa itakuwa imebaki the other lane kuitoa stage paka Kandui. By end of March itakuwa imefika. Hello. But I have also the other day I met the business community in Bungoma town. Nikamwambia there is a lot of steel congestion. Kwa sababu all our hardwares Watu wana back trucks in town We must decongest that town How do we decongest that town? We must create an industrial or a business park outside Either we get 10 acres or 20 acres in Sangalo Get these business people whether it is who and who Wambia enda jenga uko hardware Enda jenga uko go down so that upper town ni showroom ukitaka simiti unaenda huko unachukua so that we can decongest the town in Bungoma that is a discussion i had 2 weeks ago with the business community wa Bungoma town when we had breakfast at Sritam so we have great ideas and we are committed you can blame me for anything else you can say wangamacha shiki simu afanye ni but there's one thing that i can assure you i'm committed to transform Bungoma county and I want to ask every single person when you go hapa. Tafadhali ukitoka hapa just know that we are committed to transforming Bungoma County and I want to request you ukitoka hapa to be a great ambassador of this county government of Bungoma. Just look at what was done because whoever is coming to compete me is not a new person. It is somebody who was there in 2013 to 2017. Muliona kazi yenye alifanya. Mimi maybe siko msio mzuri sana kwenda kwa matanga na kuimba na kuchekesha watu. Like I can tell you one thing that I have is the capacity to handle resources and handle resources in a very efficient way. During my regime, unge hujawahi sikia mtu amepatikana ati oh ana milioni moja, milioni mbili kwa mattress. That one you have never heard. Those were stories of 2013 to 2017. Hello? Hello. Those are stories that you cannot hear. But I'm not good. Kwenda kwa matanga na kuchekesha watu. Mungu wali nipatia kipawa kingini. Kipawa kingini. Mungu wali nipatia. Ni kuangalia mali ya watu. Kufanya watu kazi. Kusaidia watu. Make sure that the students have gone to school. That is where I'm good at. And that is what you should judge me on. Hello? Sio kwa kisa mnyuku ese mbanyi kama ina kota Bwana Yesu asifiwe So as you go out of this place As you go out of this place the vote on the 9th of August is about somebody who can talk very nice in funerals or somebody who can take this bungoma to the next level and if you think in your heart that person is other than Wycliffe or Fuller or Angamad. Asante ni sana na munga wabari.